Hello beautiful souls, welcome. Today we are doing something a bit different here. We are going to make um, a, um, we're gonna make something for the hair, a beautiful spray full of natural ingredients that will help the hair grow and fight off greys. Um, I don't know about you beautiful souls, but I had a very severe endometriosis for a long time and um, for many years and um, I was put into early menopause and this meant that um, this meant that like I am anemic and I've had all sorts of problems so my hair is going thin or has gone thin is getting thinner um, was getting thinner and recently I have been looking into all these different recipes and stuff and so I thought I would share my favorite ones with you Beautiful souls, we're going to start off with three ingredients. We're just going to have um, some rosemary here. And um, we're going to take, let's get some good strands. I have three, maybe one more. Let's get these ones here. So we've got our rosemary. And we're just going to pick off, I'm going to use this sieve, this strainer, and we're just going to get off all of the leaves. Okay, so we're on our last one now. I hope you guys are all doing well and feeling happy and smiley and you're safe and feeling good wherever you are. So five elements guidance doesn't. Um, only cover one area of life it is holistic so let's have a look at holistic um, guidance beautiful souls okay so let's give our rosemary a bit of a wash Okay, so let's transfer our rosemary into the bowl. All right. Now we're going to add some cloves. About one tablespoon of cloves. And to that, we're going to add about um, two cups of water. Okay. We're going to let this sit for a bit. I'm going to cover it with some cling wrap. We'll cover it with some cling wrap. Um, just to let it just to let it sit for a bit we're gonna let it sit there for maybe about half an hour just to get those juice just to get those um, just to get the essence of the cloves and the rosemary sitting together Okay, so now that our beautiful um, natural mixture has had time to infuse, we are going to pour it into the pot. This has some pre-infusion. Let's just get those extra little bits out. There we go. Get as much goodness in there as we can get. Alrighty. We're going to cover it over. And we're going to put it on the stove. We'll put it on a high heat. And let it come, let it bring to the boil. 
Okay, beautiful souls, we have got some boiling action going on here. So let's just turn that all the way down and let it simmer. I think we'll You don't want too much of, of the beautiful essence to escape. So we'll try to keep the lid closed and we'll just let it simmer on very low um, for maybe about 10 minutes or so. Okay, beautiful souls, this has been boiling now for about 10 minutes. Look at that beautiful, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> it dripped down onto my fingers, so be careful when you're doing this. Um, Look at that beautiful color that it has created there. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to put it back in our bowl um, and let it cool down for a bit. Using our strainer, we're going to get all that beautiful water. Look at the color there. It's amazing. We'll pop that to the side. Um, there's a couple of little loose Let's just get those out so then we've only got the water the fluid so we're going to cover this back over now and leave it to cool we want it to cool down to um, a nice comfortable temperature to apply to the skin. So we don't want it to be hot. Um, kind of maybe um, room temperature or just um, cool it down just so that it's comfortable enough for you. It's good if it's still a little tiny bit warm, sort of tepid room temperature. Don't want it to be too cold. Um, because the heat will stimulate the hair follicles in the scalp so let's leave that to cool and um, we will come back to it um, when it's ready okay I think it's at a nice cool temperature there's a sl there's a tiny bit of warmth left in there so that is going to be good for application it's going to be good for the scalp to have that little bit of warmth I'm going to add um, a teaspoon of castor oil this castor oil is very good for hair and skin and for growth so we'll add that in and we'll give it a stir perfect okay I just poured it from the bowl into the jug just um, for ease of pouring into our spray bottle for application um, and I'm just going to do that over the sink here we go so let's just pour it in hopefully it will be about the right amount for the bottle Perfect. Look at that. Look at the color. You've got all these really rich nutrients and antioxidants in there and awesome, awesome, awesome for the hair and the scalp and the skin. So it's ready to spray. Just want to take it off and then spray it onto your hair from the roots all the way down oh I've taken the nozzle off I didn't need to do that <laughs> just start with the roots what am I doing I did need to loosen it a bit there you go start with the roots and spray it all through your hair soak your hair in it and leave it in um, I'm going to apply it to my hair and I'm going to leave it in until I go to bed and then before I go to bed I'm going to take um, another shower and I'm going to wash my hair beautiful souls <laughs> I hope this has blessed and helped you thank you so much for being here um, happy spraying abundant love and light